how is it to go? One night out today, everybody. This is Jordan Jones. Um, I would like to share you my top 10 hardest modes to get in Super Mario Odyssey. Talk about which ones are the most challenging to get. I'm going to have to... This is based off warning. This is based off my opinion. Just like all my other top 10s I've done. This is based off my opinion. So for the top 10 hardest power modes in Super Mario Odyssey. So, be expecting, be expecting some Moon Rock Moons on the list. Without further ado, let's go. Number 10 on my list has to be the Power Moon of this key right here. Because in order to get this Power Moon, basically what you have to do is, it's not super difficult, but it is a little bit difficult. But it can be hard. If you know what you're doing, it's, it's not that hard. But you have to grab these three rocket flowers, and you have to use the rocket flower, which isn't the easiest thing in the world to control. Since the rocket flower is hard to control, uh, since the rocket flower is hard to control, you can die in the poison very easily. So the easiest way to do this is to keep your full attention on the rocket flower the whole time. And that will make it a cakewalk to do. So you do this. You grab more rocket flowers. You go here, grab the key, and then very carefully make your way to the moon. Like this, to where the key's at. And this is actually the first time that of me getting this moon on my main file. So now moving on. Number nine on my list has to be in this 2D section right here. The very first moon you can get to if you time a bolt build just right. You guys have to go along in the black in order to stay alive in this section. And you have to time things just right. And you have to time your jumps on both bills just right, too. Okay, so this part right here requires precise timing for jumping on the bolt bills. You have about a four frame window to do. And that's all you have to do. So now, moving on. Number eight on my list has to be when you go to this section right here. The reason why is because it requires you to possess a frog like this, which, which you have to be able to use the dash button in order to move with the frog. So if you guys are not careful, you can die like I did. So here's the reason why this one can be pretty difficult. It's because you have to time these jumps carefully. Just like this. And, you have to, and they do require precise timing. Getting the moon over there isn't all that difficult of a moon to get. It's the one that has the key that's hard to get. Basically, you can easily do this part without the frog. You can just go over here using Cappy. You can grab the frog here. And then just... Do your jumps in the steady, but you have to do them in a steady rhythm in order to make it. It's not super difficult with some practice, but but speed running it would be unbelievably difficult. But if you're able to get it, congratulations, you've now got the moon. Now moving on. Number seven on my list has to be this picture matching puzzle right here in the Cloud Kingdom. But it's just difficult to do, is all I have to say. That is all I have to say about it. It's just that's difficult to do. There's nothing else I can say, but... Uh, now moving on. Number six on my list is Arrival at Rabbit Ridge at the Dark Side. The reason why this is number six on my list is because... 
What you have to do is use this go along here. And then once you go up here, you have to use this in order to get to the brutal. And then you have to go through here. And I struggle the most with Topper for some reason because he is the hardest brutal of all the brutals of these right here. And then because he has so many top hats like that, he has to take out all five brutals. Actually, all four. All four brutals. You have to take out all four brutals. And defeat the big robo group soon. With, with one life. <laughs> and then that's all the thing about this level, so now moving on. Number five on my list is this area right here where you're not allowed to use your hat and to locate the lunch in Kingdom. The reason why this is number five on my list of my top ten hardest moves in Simar Odyssey is because of this. Is because you have to be really precise with your timing of your jumps. And these platforms flip. And these kind of remind me of the floodless levels from Super Mario Sunshine when Shadow Mario took flood one. And you're not allowed to use your hat here. And that's what makes it difficult. If you was able to use your hat, this would be pretty easy. You just have to keep your eyes on Mario the whole time. And then, and then you're able to get your moon just like that. <laughs> now moving on. Number four on my list has this Snowline Circuit Class S located at the Snow Kingdom. Regular race isn't even that difficult of a race. It's this one that's hard. Plus, well, even I have not gotten every single money yet in this game. Because there's so many you get. circuit is the ice burn circuit on this course is number three on my list of top 10 artists in our Odyssey power mode because this one can be a jerk it can be very challenging since the rest of the game is on the easier side but this one is one tough cookie You can mess up easily. You have to put your full attention into it. So that's all to say. Excuse me. That's all to say. Now moving on. Number two on my list is is Breakdown Road Final Challenge located at Dark Side Kingdom. And it's mainly getting the key. not mainly getting the key that's not as hard it's the final challenge that's hard because these long jumps have to be close to frame perfect I mean they don't have to be quite frame perfect but they might be like a four or five frame window but they're really tight you have to have really precise timing in order to do that I get to very carefully and you're not allowed to use your hat once again and this reminds me of those secret levels in Super Mario Sunshine so you just have to do your long jumps just like this. I'm failing at it right now. 
And that's where, and then you have to have to follow the bolt bill over there and then have it break that. And there's your moon. And now let's see what the hardest moon in the game is. You might be surprised, you might be, or you might not be. We'll see, and then on we'll way find out. Here's the crucial moment right here. And you've guessed it right. Long journey's end at the darker side of the moon absolutely has to be number one on my top ten hardest moons. You wanna know why? It kinda makes sense, cause this is the final level. So it's supposed to be difficult. What you have to do right here is, this is a level very similar to what you had in games like Galaxy 2. This is very similar to, to the perfect run in Galaxy 2, the crown level in 3D land, and then Champions Road in 3D world. So basically you have to do this. But keep in mind, if you get rid of that thing up there, you can get a, you can get, you can get, you can get double HP. But it's kind of difficult to kill that thing to get a double HP, so I don't recommend it. I recommend getting one by talking to the Sphinx at the end of the level. And this requires precision on everything you do. Like, you have to be precise with every single move. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to drop a like on it. Don't forget to drop a like if you did enjoy this video. I'm just gonna let myself die right there. Excuse me. If you did enjoy this video, don't forget to drop a like. And let me know down in the comments below what you think the hardest Super Mario Odyssey mode is and why. I'd really love to know. And thank you very much for watching, guys. Don't forget to leave a like on this video, and don't forget to subscribe if you're new to our channel. And don't forget to click on the bell to be notified every time I make new videos. And let me know down in the comments below what you think the hardest of more Odyssey mode is and why. I'd love to know in the comments below. And have a good one. I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.